Hey guys, welcome, welcome to tonight's presentation of Wealth Generators, how to be able to enter a trade alert using your mobile phone in the MetaTrader 4 application. Okay, uh, my name is Justin Wilson. Most everybody knows me as Jay Will. I'm a top leader, top earner uh, in Wealth Generators. And I want to break down how to be able to enter a trade alert that you're going to receive from Wealth Generators. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your trade alert in your Wealth Generators mobile app. So make sure you have that app set up. You're going to click trade alerts as you can see right there. What's going to happen is it's going to pull up a trade alert. So now I have one that's saved from the past, okay? This is what a trade alert looks like. It's gonna look exactly like this. The color coordination at the top is either gonna be green or red. Green means it's gonna be a long or a buy. Red means it's gonna be a sell or a short. So in this case, it's a green um, buy and we are buying the Australian dollar against the Japanese yen. That's A-U-D-J-P-Y. So there's three parts to a trade alert that you gotta pay attention to. The three parts are gonna be the entry order, the, which is your price, the protective order, or which is your stop loss, and the target order, or take profits, okay? So I'm gonna make sure I look at this. Now you can write these three different things down on a piece of paper, or you can flip back and forth between your MetaTrader 4 and this screen, which is I'm gonna do so you guys can see. But um, So the next thing I would do is I would open up my MetaTrader 4 account, Right now, this is a demo account for obviously illustration purposes. What I'm gonna do is I know we're gonna trade AUD JPY, so the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen. I know that because it says it right here. Okay, it says buy AUD JPY. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find AUD JPY, which you can see is at the bottom. If you guys don't see it in the listing of pairs, you would hit the little plus sign at the top right and then you would hit um, and find it, okay? You can you can add any pair, so if you see it, you can click it, and then just go back and add it. So it's down here at the bottom, AUD JPY. I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna hit new order, okay? If you're on iPhone, I believe it's place trade. At the top, there's a few different things. There's um, market execution. There's underneath that is your lot size or your, your risk, your, uh, your risk potential. And then you have um, uh, you have the, the loss, stop loss entry, and then you have the take profit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to adjust the top. The, I want to switch from market execution to whatever the alert tells me to do. So going back to the alert, the alert tells me to buy. Okay, it is a buy limit. As you can see under entry order, it says buy limit. So I'm going to go back to MetaTrader, and I'm going to select buy limit. Okay, the next thing I want to do is select my... Uh, my potential, my lot size. So that is uh, how much money that you're going to have on the line uh, per pip. And you guys can learn more about that by going through the Forex training. Um, but I know that 1.0 is roughly about $10 a pip. 0 0.50 is roughly about $5 per pip. Okay, so 0 0.50. All right, just like that. And then 0 0.10 is roughly a dollar per pip if you have uh, one to 100 leverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at 0 0.10, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and enter. The next thing I wanna do is enter our price. So they're telling me on this entry order that our price we wanna get into the market is 91.77. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to type in 91.77, okay? 91.77. Right. Make sure if there's a zero at the end, that's fine, guys. Um, you just want to make sure it's 91.77. Next thing I want to do is go to the alert and see what my protective order is. My stop loss, it's going to be right here. Stop is 91.48. So I want to go ahead and go to my MetaTrader and type in under the red line. The red line is my stop. If you have iPhone, it's going to say stop loss 91.48. OK, if there's a zero at the end, that's fine. And then lastly, I want to find my take profits or my target order. So my target order is 92.14. So I'm going to switch back, okay, and make sure I type in 92.14, all right, 92.14. Okay, so those are the numbers that you need to put in, all right, and then after that, there's the expiration. Most of our trades are good to cancel. Um, just take a look at what the trade alert tells you to do. I think on an iPhone, I believe you have to set the date. So just uh, follow what the trade alert tells you to do. Okay, very simple. I'm gonna go back to the uh, back to the trade alert, and I'm gonna make sure the numbers are right. So the entry order is 91.77. My protective order is 91.48, and my target order is 92.14. So I'm just gonna double check and make sure all those numbers are right. 91.77, 91.48, 92.14. These numbers look great, and what's gonna happen is at the bottom, see where it says place order. 
okay? You're gonna, that's gonna light up in black. So if I switch this to a buy stop, see how it lights up in black? You're gonna go ahead and place the trade. Now, if it lights up in black under the buy limit, that is fine. You're either gonna do a buy limit or buy stop, or you're gonna do a sell limit or sell stop, depending on what the trade alert you get tells you to do. So then you're gonna hit place, Okay, once you hit place, your order is open. Now what? I, now it's gonna show me right here under the trade tab. See, this is my order. And as soon as the market fills my order, it will automatically start changing and adjusting price. Everything is done for you. You no longer have to uh, get into your cell phone or your, you know, your tablet, whatever you're trading with. Everything is done. At this point, you're waiting for the market to fill your order and you're either going to take profits or you're gonna hit your stop loss. Either way, you can, you're done and um, the trade is gonna the trade is gonna play out okay so that's how you enter a trade alert guys that's how you do it uh, correctly and again you know two ways to do it is either writing it down or you can flip back and forth like I showed you guys and then to delete a trade you just hold it down okay and then you click delete order and then you can delete your trade all right very simple very user friendly and I uh, hope you guys got some value out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to add me on Facebook. My name is Justin Wilson or J Will Retire You. Okay, shoot me a message if you guys have any questions. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys at the top or from the top. Bye-bye.